So Lyme disease is endemic where I am. I know some people who have now had long-term Bell's palsy for years. Would this work to help with regaining movement? Dr. Holtorf has spoken on the use of low-dose naltrexone in Lyme disease, um, specifically not again as a single therapy, but as in conjunction with other therapies, specifically looking at what is the root issue behind the Lyme disease. Not everybody has the same vectors that are causing the infection. So with Bell's palsy, that's usually an inflammation around some of the nerves that affect uh, specific areas of the face. And because we know low-dose naltrexone does work in different neuropathies to reduce the inflammation, especially surrounding some of those nerves, it could be helpful in situations like that. And what I will also say is that I don't think it necessarily has to be a new or fresh diagnosis. I think that even years into it, we have seen where low-dose naltrexone has been of benefit, even if somebody has been suffering with a specific condition for many years. I don't think you necessarily have to say, oh, you know, it's been 15 years, it's never going to help me. I, I don't agree with that at all. I think if you, even if you've had something for 15, 20 years, give it a shot. And you don't have, um, if, if you're not getting the benefit or a great success out of your current treatments, adding low-dose naltrexone probably isn't going to hurt in this situation. 